This is the forest map in Gorilla Tag, and these are the walls. For most people, these walls represent a barrier, a cage to make sure that you stay inside of the playable space of the game. However, for a small subset of the game's community, these walls are seen very differently. Instead of a barrier, they are seen of as a jungle gym. We see them as an extension of the map itself, and there are a plethora of skills that allow us to use the walls this way. But out of all of them, by far the most important one is wall running. The reason I started this journey is because I had some uh, small issues with wall running. No, 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 man. No, 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 no. So, I decided to challenge myself in order to improve my wall running skills. After some deliberation, I decided on a timed wall running challenge. I would have to stay on the walls for one hour straight without breaks. I also had to add an extra rule to prevent me from doing this for one hour straight. The rule is that I have to keep moving forward and in the same direction for the entire time. With this in place, I booted up Gorilla Tag and got ready for my first attempt. Alright, are we all on the wall? Are you all ready? Yes. Three, two, <laughs> one, <laughs> go! Alright, it started. Wait, Moses is already- no, we restart, we restart. You're on the wall? Okay, okay, you're good, you're good. Alright. <laughs> we can- we just gotta take it slow, guys. Oh, you fell? Okay. You might not initially think it, but this wall is the unofficial antagonist of this challenge. This wall caused me so much pain, suffering, and agony over the course of the last week, it is hard to explain. To see why, I first have to explain to you the inherent problem with this wall. You see, with most corners and bends, you are able to get around them with relative ease by either precisely wall running around them or staying high up to avoid the sharp angles. Unfortunately, neither of those strategies were possible because this wall is almost perfectly vertical and requires you to make an over 90 degree turn while maintaining your height. So instead, people employ different strategies in order to get around this beast of a section. Whoa. I don't know about you, but I'm going over. You see, Josh's plan here was to go to a pinch climb position here, and then jump up onto these slippery walls, and then slip his way over this ridge in order to totally circumvent this wall. Instead of doing that, I take a much different approach. I start the same by jumping into this pinch climb position, but then instead of pushing myself up, I push myself sideways out of the pinch climb in order to land into another pinch climb. And then from there, I jump back onto the wall. These two approaches are both insanely difficult and have a lot of room for error, which is why this wall has earned the name the Wall of Death. That's it. Alright, me and Josh made it the first time. I went over. I don't wait for Josh. <laughs> you went over, yeah. Alright, I'll go first. Oh, no. oh. That's a bit stressful. <laughs> oh no, but the, f the most stressful part for me is this last part. Oh my god. This just frustrates me to no end. You go first, Josh. This is hell. Oh no. I'm going Alright, he made it. Oh my god. I made it, I made it. We good. Number one. And with that, we were off to the races. What you didn't see there is that almost immediately after making it around the map, Charwi fell off, so it was just me and Josh left and we were in it for the long haul. I was excited to potentially beat this challenge first try, but oh boy was I arrogant. Anyways, at about the 9 minute mark, the walls took their next victim. Who joined? Or got tagged? Uh, I think somebody got tagged. Yeah, somebody just got tagged. Okay, that was close. It was too close. I didn't notice this at first, but this was Josh's last moment on the walls. And with that, I was all alone. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Oh, oh god, oh, that was way too close. That was way too close.
This also gave me a good opportunity to talk with my friends. I am. I am my man. Dude, I looked myself up online. <laughs> no, dude, basketball is just boring to me, man. I'm in gorilla tag. After about 20 minutes, I was starting to get lethargic, and I just wanted to be able to take off my headset and breathe in some fresh air. So I started to get really reckless. Speed! Is Mr. Pig actually like, the real pig, or is it a... <laughs> I just felt... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! I fell. What time? What time did I get? What time did I get? Watching the stream. I'll call the time. One sec. Oh no! You're still a behind. I'll call the time. Let me. I'm gonna restart. No! I made it so far. I had failed. After wall running for almost 24 minutes straight, I had failed. That doesn't sound like a long time, but it felt like an eternity of wall running. I was so incredibly disappointed, and the idea of doing another run filled me with dread. But then, I thought back to my past. You see, before Gorilla Tag, I played a game called Escape from Tarkov. In this game, when you die, you lose everything. So you could easily lose hours of work in seconds. But every time I died, I picked myself back up and kept going. So that's what I did now. I got right back up on the wall and started another attempt. But this time, I was determined to succeed. Timer starts well? now. <laughs> no! I fell! I fell! I fell! Dude, what was my time? <laughs> no! No! Oh no! <laughs> no! After that, I made another attempt, but I didn't get very far. What'd you say? Milkman said you only have friends on? No! Okay. I think that's my last one for tonight. This loss was still haunting me, and I couldn't stop thinking about how I could have done better. The next day I streamed again, but this stream was super hectic. I had a bunch of technical difficulties. Um. Uh. Let's just change the code. I'll re DM y'all the code. I did get one good run out of it. But that run only lasted about 20 minutes. No, no! I fell! How dare you? No! 46, 50. Now I fly away. I'm so sad. After that stream, I decided to take a break. I wasn't getting very far, and my wall running was getting more and more sloppy. But when I pulled off my headset, I had a revelation. The only way I was going to beat this challenge was to do it offline. You see, if I made attempts offline, I wouldn't have friends and chat to distract me, so I could solely focus on wall running. And so I put my headset back on and got to wall running. I made just one small mistake when starting this run, though. 
Oh, I have to pee, I have to pee, I have to pee. Peeing is going to cost me this run. This run's going so well. Oh, I should have peed before the run. I really should have peed before the run. You know, at this point, I was actually considering just pissing my pants for the sake of the run, but fortunately, it didn't come to that. <gasps> what? Anyways, after that attempt, I immediately got back up and started another run. Unfortunately, I forgot to record this run, but here's an approximate recreation of what happened. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I don't got this. What's going on? Why am I lagging? What's with the lag? Why? I gotta push through the lag. I think I, think I got past the lag. I think I'm okay. I actually got this. I got this. I don't think I don't think I can fail at this point. Wait. Did I remember to record? Ah! I was speechless after this run. I wasn't supposed to fail. In my mind, I had written a story for myself. I overcame failure after failure and finally won. But this run wasn't supposed to fail. In this run, I overcame my nerves and game lag. But it wasn't enough. All I could do was sit speechless. And then I did what I had done so many times before. I got back on the wall, started a timer, and ran. But this time it was different. This time I said absolutely nothing. I was completely silent except for one thing. One, two, three, four. You see, in all my previous runs, talking had distracted me. It had made me fail, time after time. Five, six, seven, eight. But this time, talking focused me. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whenever my brain started to wander, I brought it back to the count. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Over time, my voice got hopeful. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Nothing could stop me from reaching the next number. 21. 22. 23. 24. Before I started, I had done the math. It would take me about 27 rounds to make it halfway. 25. 26. 27. So when I reached that, I allowed myself to take a break from the count, just for a second. 26. Let's go. Alright. I am thirsty. I am hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> this needs to be done now. But after that, I was right back to the county, and nothing could stop me. 28, 29, 30. And before long, I had made it to the last 10 minutes. I'm going to stop counting here and just focus entirely. After around 13 runs on and off camera, which took around 8 hours of attempting, I had finally made it. <sighs> and I have to say goodbye to these other jumps as well. Oh you, this jump has been painful when it's lagging, but that's super easy when it's not. This whole section of wall is painful when it's lagging. Easy if it's not. <sighs> this section, I think, is what I'm most proud of. I have improved so much in doing this. I don't even get scared anymore. I used to mess that up constantly, constantly get worried and scared, but now it's just... I've, got, I've done it so many times. There's just nothing left to be worried about. I have the muscle memory down. But this section of all is weird and kooky, but I don't think I messed it up once, to be honest. The entire run. Maybe I like did something wrong, but I immediately corrected it. But uh, that section isn't too hard. I don't think I've ever messed up on this section either. It's it's only this. One second. Six seconds. 
<sighs> Time is over. Oh my god. It's over. I finally did it. There's only one thing left to do. This beeping is incessant. One second. There's only one thing left to do. I'm free. Thanks for watching. I spent way too long making this video, recording it, editing it. So uh, I hope you liked it. Tell me in the description. And also subscribe because that's really cool. Anyways, see ya.